Now we're going to look at ions. So ions occur when the protons do not equal the number of electrons. Little hint, this means that the charge is going to not be neutral. A cation, so cats, they have pause. So a cation is positive. You know that I mean positive of some sort. It could be a plus one, it could be a plus two, it could be plus three, but it's some kind of positive. An anion has an N in it. It is negative. And again, it could be a negative one, negative two, negative three. I'm just saying that it's some kind of negative. So we're going to begin by making these atoms cations. So the top one is the neutral form. So let's go through really quick and write in our electrons. So this one has 13 electrons. Now, we want a cation. So that means to be positive, that means that you're going to have to have more protons because those are positive than electrons. Because remember, they start off even, so you're going to have to increase something or decrease something. So to make a cation, we need to write down a number that has more protons than electrons. So if we look right here, we start off with 13. So we just need a number that's less than 13. It could be 12. So if we did 12, that would be a plus 1 ion. If we did 11... That'd be a plus 2 ion. And if we did 10, which is where I'm going to stop, this makes a plus 3 ion. So 13 positives, and then basically minus 10 negatives gives us 3 positives. This is aluminum plus 3. You'll also see it. Some people are really particular on how you write your positives and negatives. You might see it like that. So let's go and do chromium. We start off with 24 electrons when it's neutral. If it's going to be positive, we need less electrons and more protons. We're not changing the protons because that would change the elements. We're, we're changing the electrons. So we just need some number that's less than 24. Why don't we make this like chromium plus 1? It just needs to be 23 electrons. So see, if we have 24, if we have positive 24 and then minus 23, that will make us plus 1. So this would be chromium plus Again, if we're going to make a positive, we're going to need less electrons. And so maybe like on this one, we could make it 53 electrons. So 55 minus 53 gives us 2. So this is chromium 2 plus. And then, I'm sorry, cesium 2 plus. And then let's see, in this case, uh, let's try making fluorine positive. So we're going to need less electrons. 9 minus 8 electrons. And what that's going to give us is a positive charge, F positive. Now, you go through and write an anion example for all of these. Now, you'll find that certain elements want to go a certain way. And we will be talking about that when, as we look at the periodic chart. But we're just practicing making the positive version of things and the negative version of things.